So now I'm ready to update my game and publish a new update to Play Store. Uh, the game's already published, you can right now go ahead and download it for free and play it on your uh, Android device. Uh, let's get into it. In the project settings, I have some things to do. So first of all, if you go all the way into platforms Android, you need to test the game before doing everything. Uh, the store version is right now for me, it's called 30, um, just because in my production, page my last uh, release was 29 1.08 so 29 is out of the equation I can't use it anymore so 30 it is the Android package name com.surin.mt space um, make sure you follow this thing uh, application display name empty space version display name it's right now it's um, point, uh, zero 0.09 uh, minimum SDK version for me is 21. The target SDK version is uh, 33. It's a mandate from Play Store, so you have to at least target 33. Install location is internal only. Uh, I'm right now. I'm packaging my game inside APK to test it. This is pretty important. You have to test your game before publishing it. But if right now I'm not going to test it. So for test, make sure this is checked. Right now I'm not testing it, I want to publish. I already tested it, so this is unchecked for me. Um, uh, I'm, uh, right now my size is at 157, so I don't need neither of these. Um, you need to definitely use external files directory for Unreal Engine games files. And these two are going to be checked. Maximum supported aspect ratio ratio is going to be 2.8. Use display cutout region should be enabled, uh, and these two should be enabled as well. And these are enabled by default. For publishing the game, the generate bundle must be enabled. But to test it, this must be disabled. So you have to. If you want to test this and this, this should be uh, enabled for test, this should be disabled. For publish, this should be enabled and this should be disabled. I'm using ES3.2, I'm not using Vulkan. Vulkan, um, I don't like the performance, performance is not that great. I'm not using Vulkan desktop at all, I'm just using uh, open, the regular OpenGL. You need to, I just... <laughs> Pass the key store part just because you don't see my password that's pretty important so make sure you sign your key store and uh, I already have a video about it so you can just go ahead and search key store or sign Android APK or AAB in my uh, video in my channel and find the videos related for it I'm using Google Play support and my apps ID and everything uh, these should be enabled and set up uh, you will have some icons the icons must be set up but you will set them up before publishing the game so if you're uh, updating, updating the game you don't need to really change anything about this stuff and in the packaging part uh, this one Build configuration is shipping, full rebuild, and for distribution. These two are pretty important. And then you're good to go. Just come in here, platforms, Android, and make sure it's Android ETC2. All the Android phones support this one, and use project settings and package projects. So, right now, let's double check it in my Android section. I have this one disabled, it's at 30, it's at 1.09 and the uh, AAB is enabled. So Android package project and I've already created a Play Store folder. This is the last version so I'm going to replace that and select folder and we'll come back when it's done. So it's finished baking everything and this is where I uh, exported it. 
this is the file you are you are looking for uh, empty space android shipping dot aab not the apk file not the obb file just the uh, ap aab file if you're not getting the obb file i have a uh, separate video about that just you need to make sure that the um, it's called google pad everything's checked and make sure that the in the packaging part you are making sure that it's generating chunks and that's pretty much it so in the aab file will uh, we go into the um, production tab and then create a new release and we'll just drag and drop the aab file here and we'll wait until it down it uploads everything so it's finished uploading you can see that the version is 30 so now let's go into the uh, if you have any release notes I usually don't add release notes people will see what's new in my youtube channel so no need for that click next and if you're getting any error in here you have to fix it I, I'm not getting any error right now I just have two warnings that you can easily pass and uh, make sure the rollout percentage is a hundred percent and available in all targeted countries if you're not having any targeted countries make sure to uh, add them in your release overview I guess and then you can save it and go to overview and make sure send it for review send changes for review and then you'll just have to wait until it uh, gets approved and it usually takes for the first time you upload your game it takes one or two three days but when you're uploading the game it usually takes some hours so no need to worry about that part um, if you're playing the game I wish you a happy time play the game and if you're developing a game I wish you a I wish you best of luck uh, bye